by being loud and exciting and blah, then you watch my video straight at me no he's not i'm actually chasing him okay welcome to the jungle guys today i'm going to show you the best black mamba video that has ever been out on the internet no dramatics no craziness just pure unadulterated dendroaspis okay so we've got my big boy here m99 now we haven't done a video in a while so that's why i said to bex let's not let's not play around i've been sick i've had snotty nose you know my voice is a bit weird i'm like i feel better now let's get out the best snake and just watch him go mad okay he's probably not going to go mad he is quite a wild behaved black mamba he's not wild wild anymore but he's he's still a black mamba but what i want to do is i want to go through the processes and not teach you guys how to handle a black mamba because i don't think that's safe mm -hmm. Um, especially over YouTube. YouTube can teach you everything except how to handle black mom babies. Eh? Like, remember that video I watched on open heart surgery? I got it down. I got it down. No. Okay. So, I'm going to just explain to you guys what I'm looking for, what I'm looking at with the snake, because we all hear these stories about how this snake is the most crazy one, the most aggressive one, the one that's going to chase you, hit front windscreens out of land cruises, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Is it all true? No. Is it some are true kind of a bit like fishing stories but we're going to get him out we're going to talk about the behavior we're going to talk about the snake and mostly we're just going to freaking appreciate him all right so let's get the snake out you guys will see i'll put some newspaper in here and that's if i'm not soaking the snake so you're watching some of the other videos if i'm soaking the snake obviously there's no newspaper and then you'll see me using a grab stick and i neck the snake and i put him in when i'm just moving him around in the enclosure and we, we're trying to clean up and stuff like that then we'll put paper in you show the black mom the paper with a hook stick and he goes straight in every single time my mentor, Donald Stradham, RIP, he taught me that long, long, long time ago. All right, so, as you can see, just looking through the bucket, Bex, get up all nice and close there. The snake is ready to rock and roll. He's got his hood up. He's got those long, flicky tongue flicks, and that is so, um, what's the word for it? So indicative of a black mamba, because that's what he does. He pulls his tongue out slowly like that, trying to threat display. Okay, Bex, back up. Now, I can see he's already ready. I know I'm not sneaking up on him. So when I'm opening this tub, I'm fully expecting the snake to come bounding out, not charging at me, not chasing at me. He's trying to get away. Okay, so let's see if he'll listen to what I'm saying. Generally, they don't follow the same script as me. Okay, Bex, he's probably going to shoot towards you. All right, he's staying in there once we start touching him. So now when I'm doing this, I'm looking at the snake's head. I'm looking at the behavior of the animal. I'm making sure that there's not more body on the snake than what there is hook stick now i'm going to let it run for a bit this is just to get the snake a little bit more calm so that when i tail him let's get this out the way oh that was slick there he goes okay so i should be able to tail him now okay now have a look at that Oof! shot right at me becca get your hand up at him there okay so this is a massive snake and now i think that's what makes it so difficult when handling these snakes is people don't realize how long they are so you've got to really 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 make sure that you're getting your hook stick in the right place i know when my hook is there he can't come back up at me whereas if i had my hook up here the snake has got more than enough body to get to me okay now you can see is he chasing us if i let him go is he going to turn around and come straight at me no he's not i'm actually chasing him okay so snakes don't chase people i, I don't know how many times i have to tell you this but it, they really do not chase people okay so he's got his head up and this is also why people, I think, misidentify black mambas for being much bigger than they actually are. Because of the way they move. They stand up. They're moving around like that. It's very difficult. Oh, you're stretching me out here, boy. It's very difficult to be able to guesstimate the length of the animal when he's moving so quickly like that. And they are the fastest snake on earth. Okay, so, I mean, not quicker than a horse, but probably quicker than, than me on a Monday morning. I'll tell you that much. So, you can see him now. He's getting ready. He's watching us. I am keeping my head and my, my eyes, I'm keeping my eyes focused on the snake at all times. Because, especially on his head is what I'm actually trying to say. Because his head will tell me like a boxer, I suppose. He tells me which way he's going. So when I see his head coming up, normally what they'll do is like when he's in this position here, he'll spit a little bit of a hood and give you that sada, the mamba sada. You, you don't know until you get it. And then generally what he'll do from there is he'll swing out, bang, and go quickly. So unlike your puff adders and things like that, which have got lightning fast strikes and they come out ambushy, the mamba, he's got a lightning fast strike. Don't get, don't get me wrong on that. But 
they're a little bit more predictable because they're showing those kinds of signs. Same as a cobra, you know, he stands up and he tells you, unless it's a feeding response, but he's calmed down a bit now, and now we go to the other part of it. Okay, so I want to do something a little bit different. Whenever you see a YouTuber with a black mamba, generally it's bang, 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 big, scary snake, but I'm going to put my hook stick down, and I'm just going to sit here next to the snake. I'm not coming up to him. I'm sure if I had to put my body over him, something like that, I get a bit of a different reaction, but for a snake that's supposed to be running around killing people, Bex is there behind the camera, I'm here. He's not trying to do anything. He's not spreading a hood. He is completely calm. He is scared. That's what's happening. This animal is petrified. As much as you might be scared of a snake and heard all these stories, which makes it even worse in your head, I promise you he's much more scared than we are. So with an animal like this, let's say he's in my yard. What am I going to do? Oh no. I'm going to go back home. Okay. He's yeah. He's not doing anything to me. Obviously, if you've got dogs and stuff, take them inside. Don't let them be around with the black mamba because that generally ends up with a dead snake and a dead dog. Now, as you can see, with me moving around him, he's starting to change his behavior. There's a little mamba hook, and there's that side I was talking about. You see what I mean? Okay, proper little side from the mamba. Okay, let's get him up, and then we'll do the other way that you can do it. So, what you guys must remember is when you watch TV and everything like that, people don't catch snakes like that in, in, in general. When you're catching a wild snake, there's no theatrics to it. But if I had to come, okay, guys, we've got a black mamba here. And I take the snake without even touching him and I show him his bucket and he and he goes right in, which he's supposed to. Okay? Show him his bucket. There you go. Okay. Was that exciting? No. So understand before you start ripping people off about the way they do things. The reason why people do things like this is because that's how we get a hold of you, by being loud and exciting and blah, then you watch my videos. But if I do it like that, you won't. Okay. So now we're going to do it the other way. I can take the same snake that I'm showing you is quite safe and doesn't want to do much to anyone and I can get him out here yeah? and now we're going to go for the, oh my gosh guys, look at the size of the snake and Becky's going to be waving her hand behind the camera waving and I've got mouth open and oh my gosh, whoa. Okay, looks crazy. It's not. You don't need to do it like that. <laughs> All right, I'm just having fun, you guys, but you guys get my point. You don't have to be... To get the views, you do that. <laughs> to get the views, you got to be a bit crazy, but have a look at that. Africa's most deadly snake. Now, what do I mean by the deadliest snake? Does that mean that he kills the most people? Does that mean he bites the most people? No. It just means that he'll kill you the fastest. He has got... Such a good venom. It's so good at what it does. Um, neurotoxin just switches that brain off. An animal dies a quick, 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 painless death. Okay, so that's what it means by the deadliest. Now, the most venomous, that would be Bromstang, and that's because he requires the least amount of venom. Now, you guys can see what's happening. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but Bjorn, if you ever watch this video and you feel like sponsoring me, I will happily. The best hook that I've ever used on a Mamba in my life is this one right here, carbon fiber handle from Venom Gear. I think you guys can get them on the Reptile Gardens website. As I say, not sponsored at all. It's just, this is the best hook stick I've ever had in my life. It feels like it's an extenuation of my arm. I don't miss too often with it, although I still miss every now and then, but it's just such a nice hook stick. And that's also a big thing, is the right tools. Now, I'll tell you about another tool. Here's another plug that's not, um, not sponsored. And that is the best grab stick I've ever used in my life, Ultimate Exotics. Damn right. Midwest, go take a hike. They're heavy and they're horrible. This is the best hook stick, a grab stick I've ever used in my life. I could catch 10 marula fruit no, in succession with this bad boy. But we don't need him today. Or we're taking a gorgeous mamba out for a walk here. Now, let's talk about how pretty he is. I'm going to come and come close to you about Becca. Becca, you film, I'll watch head. If I tell you jump, you know what to do. Now, quite often, people will think of mambas as pretty ugly snakes if I'm honest there's not much going on with him but have a look here come back here Bex have a look at the banding on the tail he doesn't have it too hectically I hope it's coming through on the camera nicely there but I think that is one of my favorite parts of a black mamba have a look at the length of that tail that's how we know he's a big old boy we also did sex him but from the tail that's how I know mambas are what all right and then of course those massive beautiful eyes that you see in Zulu you say mamba. that's for someone who's got dark eyes and they can see really well 
Even some security services are called Metro Mamba. But have a look at that snake. Most iconic African, maybe the most iconic snake in the world, eh, Vex? Just that big smile. People always call him the coffin head. I hate it, but it is quite accurate. They do have a very coffin -y shaped head. His tongue flicks, and then what I love on all the mambas, you see it on the, the West Africans especially, is these bigger scales on the neck. It just looks so awesome, especially, especially when they're spreading their hood. Now you can see Bex is getting quite close with that camera, and we're having no reaction from the snake. I'm waiting for him. You can see my hook stick is in a position like this so that I can get him that way rather than back towards me. And that's all the little things that I'm watching out for that I'm always trying to just keep, keep paying attention to. Watching the snake's behavior, you can see he stopped with that Manic tongue flick. Now it's just normal tongue flick. He's thinking again. Kevin McCurley styles. So there's the black mamba, guys. Now, when you watch this video, I'm going to put the exciting bit first. And I'm going to make some more exciting stuff now so that you watch it. Because I tend to only get like 30% of my videos watched. If you guys could watch the whole thing, that would uh, that would be great. Um, I'm trying to make it better. And um, please, guys, subscribe. Please subscribe. Like, it makes a big difference. I just want to get a 1,000. When we get a thousand, I don't know, we'll see where we go from there, but that's just the mark. We've like 40, what, 49, 41 away, Bex? I don't know, but this video could get us there. So please, right underneath here, I don't know which side it is on, whatever. It's a big red button that says subscribe. Click that thing, press that thing, whatever you're on, just make it happen, okay? And also like it, hey? Have a like. Have a like for me showing you the truth about how we act with snakes and how we make things exciting. All right, now let's go get some cool bee footage. <laughs>